So, you joined the Build the Earth project in Minecraft, or you just want to build something cool, but isn't building just one or two buildings taking you hours and hours of time? Well, I got a solution. Welcome back to another Build the Earth tutorial, and today we will be looking at how to download and use the basic commands for the world edit. World edit will save you countless hours of building once you learn how to use it properly. If you're here from Build the Earth, like Replay, you can update the mod pack to have world edit included. But if you just want to download the actual mod itself, it's the second link in the description. The first is the Build the Earth mod pack. Now to download world edit, you will need Forge mod loader, which is already part of the Build the Earth mod pack, but I put it in the third link if you need Forge. So once we finish downloading, we are going to move both mods in either our .minecraft folder or .build the earth folder, which is in percent up that at percent. You can just type Windows R in your Windows search bar. And yeah, depending on what you're using the mod for, you either use .minecraft or .build the earth. So I'm using it for build the earth, so I'd put it in the .build the earth folder. All right, now let's look at some of the basic commands. World edit commands can be distinguished from the game's default commands with an extra slash at the beginning. You can only select points with a wooden axe. So all right, now let's look at some selecting methods. So the first one is cell cuboid. Cell cuboid is the default command that is set when first loading the game with the mod. You can select two points to make a square. Left click for pause one, which will start the square, and right click for pause two, which will end the shape and form a square. Cell poly. So if you're from build the earth, chances are that most of your buildings do not align with earth's lines of latitude and longitude, so most of your buildings are going to be on a, on somewhat of a diagonal. Cell poly is better for this. You can left click to start the polygon, but you can add multiple other points that act as corners for your shape. You need to have a minimum of three points. All right, now we'll be looking at the actual building commands. So the first thing we have to do before that is we have to look at block IDs. So world edit uh, does use block IDs where each block actually has a number. In the fourth link below, I've linked the list of all block IDs for 12.2, but I'll show you some of the ones that I've used the most. Colored variations of blocks have their IDs based off the order they appear in an inventory. For example, brown concrete is the 12th variation in this order, so its ID is 251 12. If I were to enter the whole number 251, I would just get white concrete. So now we're going to be looking at some commands now. So the first one is uh, slash slash set. After selecting, you can fill up an area by entering slash slash set and a block ID of your choice. For an example, if I wanted to make this a parking lot, I would enter slash slash set 251 colon seven and it would fill up the area with gray concrete. Now we're gonna be looking at the stack command. This is a good command for building skyscrapers. After building the shell, for your building and assuming it's one block high we can select the area and stack it on top of itself if i want this building to be four blocks high not including the shell I enter slash slash stack four up and it's done i could also just build one story of the building select that whole floor and then type slash slash stack four up and my building is now a total of five stories high replacing up with down will stack it down the replace command let's say that my building is made up of multiple blocks and i just want to replace the gray concrete and make it gray terracotta instead I can replace only that block by selecting my building and entering slash slash replace 251 colon 7 to 159 colon 7 and now have gray terracotta instead of gray concrete. The line command. This command only works for cell cuboid and when selecting two points slash slash line will form a line between the points instead of making a square. This command is very good for making road lines. If I want a yellow dividing line on this road, I can select two points and enter slash slash line 251 colon 4. I can copy and paste my building with slash slash copy or slash slash cut, which will remove it, and slash slash paste, which will paste it. It will always paste my build from the same distance away from where I copied it. To undo or redo any action, you can use slash slash undo and slash slash redo. Thanks for watching today's tutorial on World Edit. I hope I've really helped you out. I have some building time lapses in the place BTE North Bay if you want to check that out, and I will be posting more tutorials, showcase videos, and streams. Thanks for watching and peace.